Life down here slowing once more, the country going back into hibernation. Schools shut until mid-February at the earliest, remaining non-essential shops across England shut. Stay at home is the instruction once again in law. The Prime Minister's fourth address to the nation, for the first time doing it live and his hardest so far. Since the pandemic began last year, the whole United Kingdom has been engaged in a great national effort to fight COVID. And there's no doubt that in fighting the old variant of the virus, our collective efforts were working and would have continued to work. But we now have a new variant of the virus, and it's been both frustrating and alarming to see the speed with which the new variant is spreading. As I speak to you tonight, our hospitals are under more pressure from COVID than at any time since the start of the pandemic. In England alone, the number of COVID patients in hospitals has increased by nearly a third in the last week to almost 27,000. And that number is 40% higher than the first peak, with most of the country already under extreme measures. It's clear that we need to do more together to bring this new variant under control while our vaccines are rolled out. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant. That means the government is once again instructing you to stay at home. Today, the United Kingdom's chief medical officers have advised that the country should move to alert level five, meaning that uh, if action is not taken, NHS capacity may be overwhelmed within 21 days. Having visited a North London hospital earlier in the day, he told the nation he hoped that vaccinating the vulnerable, that 13 million people getting jabs, starts to get us out of this. Of course, there is one huge difference compared to last year. We're now rolling out the biggest vaccination programme in our history. So far, we in the UK have vaccinated more people than in the rest of Europe combined. With the arrival today of the UK's own Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, the pace of vaccination is accelerating. If deaths start to fall as the vaccine takes effect, and critically, if everyone plays their part by following the rules, then I hope we can steadily move out of lockdown, reopening schools after the February half term and starting cautiously to move regions down the tiers. By the middle of February, if things go well and with a fair wind in our sails, we expect to have offered the first vaccine dose to everyone in the four top priority groups. I want to say to everyone right across the UK that I know how tough this is and I know how frustrated you are and I know that you've had more than enough of government guidance about defeating this virus. But now, more than ever, we must pull together. The weeks ahead will be the hardest yet, but I really do believe that we're entering the last phase of the struggle because with every jab that goes into our arms, we are tilting the odds against COVID and in favour of the British people. And thanks to the miracle of science, not only is the end in sight, but we know exactly how we will get there. Opposition leaders, including this one, spent the day calling for the Prime Minister to act the way he did. The really important thing is to say that we support these measures and we're all under a duty, I think, to do whatever we can to make them work. Whatever other quarrels I may have with the Prime Minister, I think tonight what the country wants to see is people pulling together uh, to say that we have to follow these new rules, we have to make this um, work. Um, these are going to be really, really tough weeks. The important thing about tonight's announcement wasn't so much the detail of the new restrictions. There was a grim inevitability about those. It was the difficult process of looking for hints of light about when this new lockdown in England might end. Now, Boris Johnson did say that maybe children could go back to school after the mid-February half term but he did so with a striking lack of conviction, which is quite a change for him. A nation rewinds 10 months and restores the toughest coronavirus rules. 
but the scars of the first two spikes and first two lockdowns remain as yet unhealed, making tonight the hardest yet. Sam Coates, Sky News.